pretty. You know, I might have had too much coffee. That's all right. Um, I'm gonna be real with you. I it's I'm having a I'm having a. I might have I might have had a few too many cups of coffee. It's possible. That's okay. Let's take some emails. <laughs> hey, if you want to send an email, send it into Castle Super Beast Mail at gmail dot com. That's Castle Super Beast Mail at gmail dot com. When we're done with these emails, I'm gonna go make a baby jail. You ever bought a baby jail on Amazon? It's hilarious. Okay, wait, baby will net. It's all hold machine translated Chinese nonsense. Okay, a real because there's also baby jail is in for them. You know, um, they can get sent to baby jail too. So you mean a real physical IRL baby jail? I mean, I mean a, I mean a physical baby jail. Okay, like gay baby jail. Yeah, like gay baby jail. Correct. Yeah, yeah and it's like they can't escape. It's so it's like a box. But it's made out of soft materials because all the Amazon descriptions are machine translated Chinese of like the, the the baby will never be able to escape and they are very safe and cannot be harmed inside the box. <laughs> it's just really, really fucking funny. Fantastic. Um, all right. We got one coming in here <laughs> from Lost Planet 2 guy. He says, Beasties of Lands Beyond. Recently, I discovered Enter the Gungeon the arcade machine at a convention and it's unreal how good it is you yeah it's really good it sucks that you can't play it somewhere else what is the controls like is it is it just stick and button or like yeah, i haven't seen that that's pretty i can't even fucking remember all i can remember is seeing it and going wow that looks good and then brain you cannot brain replicate off. anything like this at home and it makes me uh all the more excited for discovering uh, it at an arcade at a new place with all the machines that i used to love in pretty good condition uh, hold on i gotta look this up enter the i'm gonna look it up right now yeah Oh, that's oh, it's a fucking light gun game. It's a light gun game. Oh, oh wow. fuck, dude. Oh, I want to play this so fucking bad. I fucking love light gun games. And, and you know there's like 50 of them. Like if you're lucky, maybe even 10. There's no way that's like a widespread thing. Enter the Gungeon House of the Gun Dead. Oh, it's actually called House of the Gun Dead. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I would. They're, I would. They're doing a full on House of the Dead parody. And it and it and it's first. Person. It okay. looks really good. Yeah, it is House of the Dead style. Okay, it's actually not Enter the Gungeon at all in anything but branding, it seems. Huh. Um, Man, House of the Dead 2 hurts my soul because it's my favorite arcade game of all time, and it, it's the least durable machine that's ever been made. But also, like, thus so affordable that it pops up in all kinds of wild places. Yeah, and you're yeah. I'm gonna go through the process of getting a fucking arcade machine put behind me in this fucking spot, and then it's gonna last three days before the fucking triggers on those guns snap off. Yet for some weird reason, Area 51 lasts forever, and Cousin <sighs> USA lasts forever. Well, you know why, right? Because you you buy it as a fucking piece of art. You don't actually play those pieces of shit. <laughs> Every truck stop from here to fucking Florida. Um. Anyway, so, um, yeah, how am I supposed to replicate the kick in Time Crisis 3's handgun with a mouse and keyboard? That's impossible. So, what's your favorite arcade machine? And, and to that, um, the arcade machine unique experience. We just had the, the, the emails conversation just now. There you go. Uh, like, dude, light gun shooters are incredible, but yeah, they they fly to pieces. Um, special mention to, as far as light gun shooters go, Bone Eater. Because uh, Silent Scope Bone Eater is a unique machine that has that extra screen layer that, like, you, uh, 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 that I, yeah, you, I, you can't really replicate at home in any way, shape, or form. Um, Killer Queen is the shit. That's obviously the fucking uh, 5v5 insane size cabinet that you can just play. Like, it's like the X Men cabinet, but like super extended. And you can have a real fun like versus game on that. Um, that thing has become a, a staple at like cons that have it. Um, Gunslinger Stratos, I used to big up back in the day because mm -hmm. cool third person sh like shooter with the gun combinations, and you physically position the guns to change your equipment. Um, and yeah, I mean for me, the the like all timer it was just virtual world, like sitting inside of a mecha cockpit and using mm -hmm. foot throttles and and uh, Steel Battalion before Steel Battalion inside of an enclosure you know um those are my favorite cabs i remember when i was a little kid i, I got into the goddamn afterburner machine and i remember it yeah. blew my fucking mind because oh. it would it would it would spin like 270 oh, fucking man. degrees like you would be almost damn upside down afterburner climax at fucking 
2000 on St. Catherine. That machine, yep. dude. Holy fuck, what a sick arcade. That was all. I mean, the game was fine. Like, blow your hair back. Yeah. Fucking thrill house shit. <laughs> the game itself was pretty good. But the fact that you're in a jet, like, th oh, man, that was sick. And it was like $2 a game. <laughs> it was really, yeah, it was really it was bad. so worth it. <laughs> oh, fuck.